All right, today we're going to learn how to make a magic castle with a dragon in front of it. Those are your materials, and let's get started. So we're going to be using some black poster board. So I'm just marking out where my planet is going to go, and I'm going to make a big planet that's going to be the backdrop for our castle. And the castle is going to be dark in front of the planet. So I'm going to make my planet with some light orange color, a little bit darker orange color, And that's a little bit of metallic red. Now it's going to come out a little differently than it would if we were doing this on white paper. So I'm putting a little bit of an ivory color on top so that the top will be just a little bit brighter. And I'm going to use some poster board, which I squinch up around my hand and I brush my hand over it. And we get a real interesting pattern with uh, the yellow coming through but also a little bit of that black underneath coming through and that gives it a little bit of a dark, mysterious look. So I'm using a little bit of metallic red to shade it before I put the black on. So that's metallic red and then black as the shadow. And then I'll re-emphasize the light at the top with a little bit of uh, ivory or white. All right, and when that's dry, you might have to wait a moment or use your lighter if it's a humid day. But when that's dry, you put your big plate on it, and let's create the background for our castle. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create some darkness around the planet. And I'm going to make that planet radiating a little bit of light, but around that, there's some darkness. So I'm going to go from dark to light around the planet. So first I've got my black and then I've got a, a maroon color. And I'll use a little bit of metallic red to blend that maroon into the black. And then right around the planet I'll use a little bit of that light orange color. And I'm going to blend that again into the maroon using a little bit of that metallic red. Metallic red is great for blending things into each other. So if you ever want to create a nice soft blend between two warm colors, you probably can use metallic red. Let's take our planet off. And there, have a nice contrast between the planet and the light colors behind it. And I'm going to put some clouds underneath because our castle is going to be dark. So we want to make sure that there's enough contrast between the dark castle and the light background so that you can really see it. So I'm using a torn piece of poster board that I've just torn in a little cloud shape and some light orange. And I spray on the poster board to create the cloud effects. I don't want to get too much heavy paint on my picture. And that's a little metallic red again blended in and a little transparent to loosen all the paint up that's on there. And I'm going to use sliding newspaper techniques in a very particular way to create my castle. I'm going to draw it by pushing that paper up. I've created a little peak in my paper and I'm guiding it with my thumb. And I can just push that upwards to create towers. And then I can fold it and draw by holding the whole piece of newspaper and draw little peaks in. So I'm drawing that with a piece of folded newspaper. It's been folded quite a few times and it's hard enough to make those little peaks and you can draw with it. So experiment with your newspaper and figure out how you can make little little peaks like that. It's real easy. And then you can draw in the little details with your paint spatula. And I'm putting some stairs and some little squiggles like little spires. Since it's a castle, people have to be able to get from one room to another, so there's all kinds of spiral staircases going all over the place. And that maroon paint that I put on before to create the background is creating a nice contrast with the black of the paper. So when I push it up, I've got a little maroon and then black. And draw little squiggles to make the spires for your castle. Now I want to make some doors and some windows. So all I do is I bend my paper. I can make a little 
fold at the top of the paper so it's a little peak at the top. And I just spray right, I'm spraying onto the poster board, not onto my picture, because I don't want a big heavy spray. And I create a window and then I can put a little cross in it and I can define it a little bit with the spatula by tracing around the edges and the sill of it, making sure there's not extra paint coming down the bottom, but it's got a nice window sill. And I can get rid of any extra paint that I've got there with my finger and a little bit of transparent if it's bothering me. And then I'm going to make a door, and I'm making the door dark because it's going into the castle. There's no light in there. And I'll make a staircase coming out of there. I'll use a little transparent because you can't see it real well. But I think I'd like a little bit more contrast there. So I'm going to put some white, make like a cloudy, a cloudiness at the base of the castle. And that'll give me some nice contrast on top of which I can draw my stairs. Now you can really see them. And I'm just putting in a few little details here and there with my spatula. Banisters for the stairs and the, the pathway coming out of the door. And I can again blend that fogginess in with my metallic red, which I'm using to blend pretty much everything in this painting. Now I'm going to put a little, little star in the sky by poking a hole in my poster board and spraying my spray can through it. The closer I spray to my picture, the sharper the star will come out and the farther away, the fuzzier it will come out. So you can decide how you want your star. And I'm going to paint a dragon. I'm just going to freehand it with a little black paint on my small round brush. And for Spray Paint Art Secrets members, there's a video that teaches you how to draw dragons big dragons and little dragons and the basic shapes basically they break anything you want to draw you can break into shapes that you can memorize and understand how they work together so I go over step by step how to draw dragons and how to think about them um, and if you become a spray paint art secrets member you will get that So just basically uh, freehand your dragon. It's real quick because it's just a silhouette. There's not a lot of detail. And we've got a nice painting of a castle with a dragon. And that was real quick. And I hope you've enjoyed this. And this has been Elisa Moore at Spray Paint Art Secrets. And if you become a member of Spray Paint Art Secrets, there is just so much more to learn about speed painting so hope to see you inside and we'll be doing some major cool stuff this year we're going to start getting into using these techniques to paint people and other kinds of scenes and we're going to get into other kinds of materials like acrylic paint and different kinds of airbrushes and uh, uh, spray guns and things like that that you can use to do these same techniques with acrylic paint and it's going to be crazy so see you there